Scarlowy had been to the works to be mended. He felt much better. Rusty the Diesel was helping him off his truck. Scarlowy hadn't met the little diesel before. Rusty seems a kindly sort of engine, he thought to himself. I help to mend the line and do odd jobs, explained Rusty. I hear everyone is looking forward to seeing you again. Come on. Peter Sam was feeling depressed. He was still getting over his accident, but he wanted to start work again. The fat controller wouldn't let him. Another day's rest will do you good, he said. Besides, I've got a surprise for you. For me, sir? How nice, sir. What is it, sir? Wait and see. The surprise was Scar Lowy. Oh, said Peter Sam, I'm glad you've come home. They lit Scar Lowy's fire and he sizzled happily. I feel all excited, he said, just like a young engine. Now, tell me all the news. I see you've met Rusty, said Peter Sam. Yes, I like that diesel. So do I, replied Peter Sam. It's a pity Duncan doesn't. Who is Duncan? He came as a spare engine after my accident, replied Peter Sam. Is he useful? He keeps busy and I'm sure he means well, but he's bouncy and rude. He sings and sways and swills around. His driver calls it rock and roll. I understand, said Scarlowy gravely. His driver interrupted. Duncan has done it again. He's stuck in a tunnel. Come on, old boy. We'll have to get him out. Scar Lowy was pleased. He wanted to run and look forward to meeting Duncan. They found the guards van and some workmen and hurried up the line. How nice and smooth the rails are, thought Scar Lowy. They've mended all the old bumps. The little diesel helped do that. What a difference Rusty's made to the line. Quite soon they found Duncan. He was stuck at the far end of the tunnel and he was very cross. I'm a plain blunt engine, our speakers are fine. Tunnels should be tunnels and not rabbit holes. This railway is no good at all. Don't be silly, snapped his driver. This tunnel is quite big enough for engines who don't rock and roll. It took some while to clear away the rocks and set Duncan free again. At last, Scar Lowy was able to push Duncan and his coaches safely through. The guard's van was left on the siding, and the workmen stayed to make sure everything was safe. Duncan grumbled all the way home, but Scarlowy paid no attention. Later, the fat controller spoke severely to Duncan. Listen to me. There is nothing wrong with that tunnel. You stuck in it because you tried to do rock and roll. Tunnels are not dance floors, and you are not a pop star. The fat controller gave his full attention to Duncan's funnel. If it happens again, he ended ominously. I shall find ways to cut you down to size. In other words, your career is <coughs> on the line. Need I say more? Duncan thought the fat controller had said quite enough, and he remained completely silent and still for at least a whole evening. 